Yeah, they, we've uh, we played well. I think the first couple of games and even our last game, we played great. We uh, played well for 60 minutes and battled hard. And like you said, showed a lot of heart. And just that one game against Sheffield, we kind of got away from that. And I don't think the energy was there from the get go. And they kind of took it to us. But I'm looking forward to uh, getting back after it against them tomorrow night. Is it in this tournament, is it easier to get over the the low games in the sense of if this was an elite league, you could play on a Sunday night in the Sky Dome and have a terrible game. You've got to wait till the following Saturday potentially to right those wrongs. But in this tournament, you can have a bad game on a Thursday, but you're playing again by Saturday lunchtime. So there's no time to dwell on anything. No, there's definitely not any time to dwell. I mean, this week, I think we're Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So you're just right back to it every, every other day. So, I mean, you got to just have a short memory. If you guys, if we do have a bad game or things don't go our way, you got to put that behind you. And it's such a short tournament. I think you just got to strive on getting better every single day. And some days you'll have those off days, but you just got to be better the next day. And you got to know that you're coming to work the next day to, to get the job done. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been interesting, but it's been fun. After that Sheffield fixture, um, Jordan Headley was between the pipes the following game. For yourself, did you want to start that game to right the wrongs or were you happy to see Jordan get some ice time? Yeah, I was definitely happy for Jordan to get some ice time. He's been uh, working really hard in practice and he's, he's a great young goalie. And uh, I think he's going to do really well for this uh, team in the future for sure. And uh, it was nice for him to get in there and he played a great game and, and saw some pucks and I, I was happy for him. Of course, any any guy would want to be in the net and want to be playing, but I mean, it's still still early. And I haven't played in a, a long time, so it was good for me to rest the body and uh, come back prepared mentally and physically for that for that last game. We've touched on Jordan Headley, and then just the, the third net minder in the camp in Will Bray, a young local lad. Has Will lent on you for experience and to question your how to improve his game as well? Yeah, I've been trying to be a mentor for sure. I mean, he's a great young kid and he's uh, he's working hard. He's coming to practice every day and, and just trying to get better. And he's asking me a ton of questions and, and he's very interested and he's, uh, yeah, he's putting the work in. So it'll be nice to see his, uh, his path. And the Nottingham game last night, another regulation win against them. We seem to kind of have their number at the moment and there seems to be a real tightness on the bench. Where we've seen some videos the Elite League released today of everyone celebrating on the bench. It seems like you've got a good group. Yeah, definitely. We have a, we have a great group, I think. Uh, and everyone's getting along so well, which is, which is what you need definitely in these four or five week tournaments like this to, uh, to just bond and, and have a good time and, and roll with it. And I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an awesome group, honestly, and things are going well. Mentioning the young guys, uh, Sam Russell, did a uh, interview for the Elite League and mentioned about talking to yourself and you being a uh, good friends with Ryan O'Reilly, just a Stanley Cup winner, Con Smythe Trophy winner, no one really that big. You got to have some stories about times with Ryan O'Reilly. Yeah, we uh, we played together in the OHL and we we're both rookies our first year and we just became best buddies ever since and. Uh, He's kind of brought me on his journey to the NHL, and I guess it's the closest I've, I'll ever get to the NHL being being good buddies with him. But I got to experience the uh, Stanley Cup win. He he flew me out to St. Louis there, and I, I was on the the float with him there, the Stanley Cup parade, and got to have a blast doing that. So that was that was once in a lifetime, and I mean I hope he can win it again. But that was uh, incredible. Just want to talk to you quickly about uh, Tristan Keck. It's his first year pro. <laughs> Um, wheels are unreal. Shot is unreal. I think it would be we just it's a joy that we've got to see him play. How far can Tristan Kett go? He's yeah, he's awesome off the ice. Great guy, really nice guy. Uh, he's just an awesome player. Comes to the work and just rank, uh, comes to the rink and just works. And like you said, he's he's got unbelievable wheels. He's so quick. And he can, he can shoot the puck in his stride, which is what makes him so dangerous. He's just so fast, and he can just get that release off. And he's definitely fool, fooled me in practice a couple times. And uh, I, I can see it coming. He's got a great shot, and he, he can find the back of the net. So it's great to have him on our team.